Do you see this glow? Oh my goodness. No, 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 you guys. Oh my God, I can already feel it being so soothing and refreshing. What? What is happening? Hi guys, today I'm going to be trying all the Mediheal sheets masks right here. I've honestly been dying to try them all out, so I'm super excited. But anyways, after trying them, I will actually rank them from which ones I like the most, which ones I like the least, and honestly didn't see any results at all, and ultimately which ones you should buy and which ones are worth spending your coins on. So if you're excited just like I am, then let's get to experimenting, shall we? Okay guys, so the first mask I want to try is the NMS Aqua Ring Am mask. Now I have already cleansed and toned my face so we are ready set and go. And this is actually the most popular mask out of them all. Also because BTS love this one. And by the way if you are interested I actually have recreated the whole entire BTS skincare routine and tried it. It was actually really fun to make. So if you want to go watch that video card right up there. But anyways let's try this out. This is supposed to be deeply nourishing and deeply moisturizing. And actually this mask contains a ceramide in it which if you didn't know they're actually the biggest building blocks of our skin which are in charge of keeping our skin moisturized and hydrated. Therefore, it's really important to replenish the ceramides into our skin. Also, this contains hyaluronic acid, which as you guys know, it is a natural humectant. Therefore, it's going to really plump up the skin. Gun girl, which we all love. Anyways, let's read the back of it. And it says NMF, Natural Moisturizing Factor, that's what it stands for, has sodium hyaluronate, which is hyaluronic acid, and witch hazel water to solve skin thirstiness. Alanatonin and threholzol, I don't know what this is, I'm sorry, enhances the skin elasticity to give tightening effect. You guys, this sounds very promising. Let's open this baby up. Right here, there's a tear thing. It's not going well. God damn it, let me grab some scissors. <laughs> Anyways, let me pull out the mask. I can already see and feel it that it's drenched in essence. I don't know if you're able to tell, you guys, but look how wet it actually is. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> now, quickly, let's try to unwrap this without it all dripping out. Oh my god, this is so hard. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you guys, so here is the mask. Let's put this on. Let me try to put this on well. There we go. And now, you guys, honestly, this feels so soothing and amazing. It doesn't have a pleasant smell. I'm gonna say that it's quite chemically. However, you guys, this must feel so cooling. I definitely really love it. Anyways, it says it is supposed to be kept on for 10 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna keep it on for 20 minutes because y'all know I like to get the most out of my masks and treatments. However, you guys, it's really important that you don't keep it on for longer and you don't actually let all the essence in the mask in it dry out. Because if the mask dries out from the essence, it will actually start taking the moisture out of your skin. So that is definitely a no-no. I wanna show you a little quick tip that I I always do. I don't know if you guys know it already. But in here, there is some essence. So what you want to do is literally just pour it all out. There you go. Look at all this essence. Look at it. So what I'm going to do is just rub it on and then just blend it down the neck, guys. We are getting all our money's worth of this. We ain't throwing nothing. You guys, also, actually, if you're not blending your skincare down your neck, it's really important you do because the neck is actually one of the first places to sow signs of aging. Actually, also before the face. So it's really important you take care of your neck. The rest on my hands. There we go. So now the mask is officially all applied. I'll set a timer for 20 minutes and I'll see you once the timer is off to see how our skin looks. Okay, guys. So the 20 minutes are up. Now, this is what my mask looks like as you can see it's almost completely dried up like it's not as drenched as it was before but that's exactly what we want we don't want it to be completely dry we just want it to be that right spot in the middle so that the skin has absorbed all the essence let's see what our skin looks like let me feel my skin so the essence is very much still on here on my face so you guys actually what you should do is really massage it in so start massaging your skin so to really make the essence penetrate deeper and actually it just feels so nourished and so soothed and just calm you be the judge of it tell me what do you think about this mask how did it make my skin look i feel like it looks so glowy especially like right here i used to have a little bit of dryness on my cheeks now it's all gone like i literally feel like so hydrated and plump love that okay guys so it's three days since i tried the first mask this time i want to try this collagen impact essential mask because you guys know i'm obsessed with everything anti-aging and you guys if you didn't know we start losing our collagen in the collagen production in our skin starts 
to decrease as soon as we turn 25. So really, I'm almost there. And so you guys, collagen is actually what keeps our skin youthful, plump, and just looking very rejuvenated. So this mask not only contains collagen in it, but also coenzyme Q10, which apparently is supposed to penetrate deep into the skin and rejuvenate it from the inside out. And also, let's read the back of it. So it says it contains skin vital factor, hydrolyzed collagen, hydrolyzed elastin, which is essentially what makes our skin elastic and like bouncy, and also acetyl hexapeptide 8, which makes skin vital and foam skin essence barrier for the protection from skin dryness okay so the english is not that good here like it's not well written but you know like who cares like we get the gist of it to be honest i wouldn't expect to understand korean so i'm glad they still have english instruction in this but anyways let's open it up i keep forgetting i need scissors for this hold up and by the way guys a little tip that i want to give you is you want to apply a toner and dampen your skin a little bit before you apply your masks just because damp skin really absorbs everything a lot better so if you want something to penetrate into your skin a lot more more, like for example collagen in this then really dampen your skin with toner before and it's gonna be amazing you guys i'm so excited for this let's take this out and see how drenched it is compared to the other one the smell is very nice it's like fruity whereas the other one was chemical this is ooh, i like this oh my god i can already feel it being so soothing and refreshing i will say this does have less essence like it's less drenched than the other one the blue one anyways you guys this is the mask all applied i will put Put a timer for 30 minutes as always. Now we'll see you guys to take this mask off and see what our skin looks like. If it looks honestly five years younger, like I look like I'm 50. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see <laughs> okay guys so the 30 minutes are up the moment of truth is now let's see what our skin looks like i'm super excited oh my god okay 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 do you see this glow oh my goodness no 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 you guys oh my god how does it feel it honestly feels so smooth too Oh, you guys, this might be my favorite mask, too. Do I see decreased wrinkles as well on my crow's feet? They're gone. Also, the forehead wrinkles. I'm shook. Anyways, guys, another tip is, look at this. If you squeeze the mask, there is going to be that little smudge, little essence left. So what I like to do is just pat it under the eyes so you can get even more hydration concentrated right there. I really feel like as of now, this is definitely my favorite, but I mean, it's only the second mask that I've tried, but it's really promising. This is definitely super approved. Oh my God, get this. Okay, guys, so I want to try the green mask right here. It's the Tea Tree Care Solution essential mask just because as you can see i have pimples right here right here a little bit here a little bit here and here and also on the okay all right all over my face let's just say it with that <laughs> But anyways, this mask contains tea tree oil, as the name tells, which actually tea tree is known for its antibacterial and also anti-inflammatory properties, therefore it's supposed to help with your acne. But anyways, also reading from the back, it says Maleolica alterfonila, which is basically the Latin word for tea tree, leaf oil, chamomilla recutita matricaria, but I feel like chamomilla, it's chamomile, um, extract. There's then centella asiatica extract, which, by the way, so many skincare Korean brands love to put centella in their products just because centella is very hydrating, very soothing and nourishing to the skin. I personally love it in my skincare. So with centella asiatica extract, which care glossy skin and widen pore and sense sensitive skin type relax the skin and care it in moisturized okay so this is even worse <laughs> written but it's fine we got the gist of it it's supposed to open up our pores and clean them from the inside as well as soothing the skin that's what was they're trying to say with relaxing as well as moisturizing it so guys as you can see this time we got equipped we have the scissors from the beginning this recurring joke is over you will not get me anymore imagine how tired we are Imagine how tired we are of it. The smell is very tea tree-like. 
and it smells also like Centella Asiatica as well. So it's a mixture of those two smells, which I personally honestly love. If you don't like them, <laughs> then tough luck. But anyways, let me show you how drenched with just essence and juiciness, gooiness this is. Okay, guys, so let me put it on. But anyways, guys, this mask feels definitely very juicy and very hydrating and moisturizing. In this, there is always going to be a little bit of essence left, as you can see. Look at how much that's it, that is, which I'm now applying onto my neck and also onto my tongue and the chesticles area. The collagen one didn't have a lot at all. And the NMF and this one, the tea tree, I feel like they have the same amount. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes. It's time to take off the mask and see what our skin looks like. And if we like this one. Oh, okay. So it's definitely very glowy that I see it. Let's feel it. Very smooth and definitely very hydrated. You know what? I feel like I like this one too. Honestly, I'm liking all of them. What is happening? But anyways, guys, this mask is definitely approved. Now, in terms of pimples and blackheads and purification, I don't know if I see my skin purified or cleansed in any way, but maybe it's more like a long-term effect and a long-term results. So we'll see about that. Okay, guys, so it is three days since last mask. This time, I want to try the orange one or better known as the Vita Light Beam Essential Mask. Now, if you're noticing the hair, excuse, just disconnect and disregard. That is because I have a hair mask on. Today is all about self-care. But anyways, this is supposed to contain vitamin C. And if you guys don't know, vitamin C is one of the most powerful antioxidants that we know of. And it's basically supposed to not only brighten up the complexion, fight any sunspots, any dark spots caused by acne, but also protect us from free radicals and essentially slow down the aging process and therefore also fight fine lines and wrinkles. I really love vitamin C. It's one of my top favorite ingredients. But anyways, let's also read the back of this as always. And it says, Skin Light Beam can Component Vitamin C derivate okay um sodium ascorbyl phosphate okay so this is basically one type of vitamin c it's a form of vitamin c tocopheryl acetate and salix alba willow bark extract Ooh, so you guys willow bark extract actually has amazing anti-inflammatory properties and it actually is a natural source of salicylic acid and if you guys don't know salicylic acid it's great for acne so it's gonna purify the skin from the inside out and really take away all the gunk from your pores so like it's gonna remove blackheads whiteheads acne and also thanks to its anti-inflammatory properties it is also gonna calm down the skin and any redness caused by the acne and if you guys take a look at my skin look at this look at this look at this it kind of is a little bit irritated and a little bit acne kind of thing so i'm really kind of excited to see what this is actually capable of let's open this baby up and let's compare it to how moisturizing and drenched in essence this is gonna be oh all right i can already tell that this is very drenched look at it i feel like this is definitely not like the collagen one because that was really kind of dry sis she was dry okay she was not having it her date it was not going well <laughs> but she oh her date is going very well her man's he's doing something for her look at her she is drenched <laughs> Ooh, this feels so cool and refreshed. Why does this feel cooler than the other ones? Like, I haven't cut this in the fridge compared to the other ones. Like, why is this so much fresh and cooler? That is weird. Oh my god, you guys, I forgot to tell you what this smells like. Let's smell it. Let me... Why didn't you guys tell me? Oh my god, you should have told me that I forgot to tell you. It smells like soap. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's the willow bark extract that I don't know what it actually smells like. Okay, guys, so this is the all the essence that I managed to take out of the package. So not a lot compared to the other two, but definitely a little bit more compared to the collagen one. But anyways, guys, let me set up the 30-minute timer as always, and then we'll see each other again once the timer is off to judge what my skin looks like and if it has soothed my skin. So we'll see. Okay, guys, so the 30 minutes are over. The moment of truth has come. Girl, I'm definitely very feeling positive with this i hope this has given me results oh my oh my god you guys do you see the reduced redness like my skin is not as red as it used to be before this my oh my god oh she was not kidding when she said she was gonna be soothing to the skin let's see how much essence there is still left in the mask 
quite a few. Let me use this up. Medilab, honey, like, what is happening here? Like, I, I can't be approving every single mask that I'm trying. Like, uh, you gotta have at least a, a miss, okay? Like, these cannot be all hits. For the sake of the review and for the sake of my reputation, I need to tell my randoms that some of them are not okay. Like, I can't just tell them to buy everything. Medilab, you are late, okay? You cannot be coming over here making all these masks so good. You gotta give the girls something to talk about and to, you know, not like and drag you for. Anyways, you guys, as you have seen from my reaction, I feel like there's no explanation needed. This is is definitely approved four out of five are approved what what is happening but hey let's keep seeing the last one could be a flop you don't know yet okay guys so we're finally down to the last mask this time it's going to be the whp white hydrating black mask now this is marketed as a whitening mask so it's supposed to whiten your skin now i'm not quite comfortable and happy with this thing just because i know that in korea there is the culture of having white porcelain like skin however i'm in the western world and right here i feel like we should celebrate all all colors of skin so I personally think that there shouldn't be any need of whitening your skin your skin is beautiful either way sis but I feel like what they were trying to say with this is that this was supposed to maybe lighten up your skin and brighten it up so like maybe what the light beam mask was supposed to do as in like maybe remove dark spots and make like remove the dullness but anyways guys this mask contains black charcoal and this is why it's black how would you describe your personal style very personal but basically black charcoal is amazing at detoxifying your skin and also removing any impurities from your skin now i don't know if you can see but as you can see my nose is definitely a little bit of cloggedness right here as well but anyways let's also read the back because it literally says whitening and moisturizing power mask she includes the ingredients excellent in whitening niacinamide okay so you guys niacinamide is amazing at making your skin a lot more glowier also reducing dark spots and pigmentation and making your pores appear a lot smaller so maybe that's what they're meaning with whitening again as i said then there's euterpe oleracea fruit i have no idea what that is what what does that say anaya what no what extra and great moisturizing effects ingredients such as skin aquilix, glucoside, anhydroxylittle, and xylitol. I have no idea what these is, but they're supposed to be hydrating. Oh, you guys, oh my god, get this. The blast mask sheet emitting far infrared radiation on skin increases skin elasticity. So infrared radiation with this mask, but there ain't no light to be emitted. Girl, I am definitely hooked on this now. Oh, it smells kind of like rotting something. Uh-uh, uh-uh, we are not liking it. Uh, 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 uh. No, no. It kind of smells like pizza beer. <laughs> oh, oh my god, guys. It definitely is feeling very refreshing on the skin. It is definitely very juicy as well. Let me see how much essence is left in this. Okay, a little bit, as you can see. Let's again drip it down the neck. But anyways, guys, I'm really curious to see what this infrared thing is gonna do and the, all the actives that we read, the slip lipening and the picture actual putting it in it. So, let's set the timer for 30 minutes as always and then I'll see you once the timer is over. Okay, guys, so it's been a little bit more than 30 minutes i'm not gonna lie i let the timer just go on but anyways i'm ready to take this off as you can see it's totally dry up now but let's see girl are you seeing what i'm seeing oh my god the acne on my nose is ganisha as well like it's so reduced and also the redness in general i feel like my skin is definitely looking whiter the redness is a lot more reduced from the acne now my skin is definitely feeling very smooth and also kind of like really plump and hydrated so honestly what can i say apart from i have to approve this one as well honestly guys but anyways guys now that we have tried them all let's wrap our thoughts up okay guys so here we are i have tried them all i've actually done a second round but i didn't film it just so i could really get the tea and really understand what each mask is giving the girls and i have come with my final thoughts and and results here they are first of all medi lab i am totally and utterly shocked and baffled i literally don't know what to say like you literally came here and you showed the girls what the girls should have did she's about to do what she's about to do and she's about to show what the girls should have did literally i have loved and enjoyed each one of them i will quickly rank them for you guys in case you want to know what my opinion is as to which one is the best now y'all know if you are randoms you know that 
the best one in my opinion is of course going to be the one that gives me the most anti-aging out of it. I'm obsessed with anti-aging. So of course, the first one is actually going to be the yellow one right here, the Collagen Impact Essential Mask. Just because I really like to think that this is delivers a lot of collagen to my skin and really makes my skin plump, youthful. So, I mean, it's also amazing. Even though it's the driest out of all of these, I still will put it first. However, if you don't care about the anti-aging aspect and you literally are looking for a lot of hydration and nourishment, then I will have to say you pick one of these two, sis, because this really delivers so much nourishment. This one kind of delivers exactly the same nourishment. However, I feel like it also helps a little bit with the acne, reducing the redness in the skin and the sebum production. So maybe my advice would be if you have oily skin or if you have a little bit of a breakout going on, go ahead and use this one. Or if you have dry, crusty ass looking skin and is as dry as Arizona, then I would actually go with the NMF Aqua Ring Ampoule Mask instead. This is going to be the second and this is going to be the third. I will say, however, the next contender for the third place, so really close to this, is definitely this one, the Vita Light Beam Essential Mask. Just because I really seen an insane brightening levelness to my skin. Even though I am using vitamin C and other antioxidants in my skin, which literally are supposed to brighten your complexion and your skin up, this was just able to bump it up a notch even more and make my skin even more glowy, which I thought wasn't even possible, but apparently it was. I was totally shocked by that, Medilab. You snapped with this mask. Definitely, I recommend it if you have especially like dull skin and you haven't introduced any vitamin C's in your skin yet. You're gonna see so much benefits out of this. Love it. It also is very juicy and nourishing, so that is definitely a bonus. And lastly, you guys, this one right here, the WHP White Hydrating Black Mask. Now, I have to say, personally, I don't like the message out of this, as I've already said. I would have preferred it, maybe they called it something else, the White Hydrating Mask, but apart from that, it would stop being shady. This mask is actually quite good because it contains a lot of niacinamide and other ingredients that are actually supposed to, I wouldn't say whiten the skin, but maybe more so reduce the redness in your skin and really make your skin a lot more even in tone. I still very much like this. So again, I say if you have acne prone skin, these two are going to be amazing for you. If you are looking a little bit more for anti-aging, then I would say you should definitely go for these two. And lastly, if you just want straight up pure hydration and a lot of moisture and juiciness, go ahead with this one. I though, to be honest, definitely do need all of these in my my cabinet skincare collection, I would not only limit myself in using one, I actually am a W-H-O-R-E when it comes to skincare and I like to hoard stuff. So I actually recommend you literally buy all of them and try them out for yourself because I loved each and every one of them for different aspects. But anyways, if I've got you hooked into trying all of these out or literally just even one of them, I have bought these from Amazon because you know your girl does not step side outside of a house. And also, I don't feel like you could buy these in stores anyways. What I bought is actually a 10 pack of these. So you get two of each mask. And actually, the price was, I have it right here, it was 1887 Royal British Pounds for 10 masks. It actually doesn't even end up being two pounds per mask. So you know your girl has always got you covered. And I'm actually going to link down below in the pinned comment the cheapest product listing that I could find. Both was Amazon US and Amazon UK. So if you want to go buy them, literally all you got to do is click that link link right there. But now, sis, I know that some of us, me especially, we can be a little bit nifty and greedy with our money. So if you don't want to spend as much money on Amazon, then I actually give you an alternative and that is going to be buying these off of YesStyle. So they are going to be a lot more cheaper. So for example, I'm looking at a five piece right now and that is 10 Royal British Pounds or for example, a 20 piece and that is going to be 19 Royal British Pounds. So as you can see, they are cheaper. However, the catch is going to be that it's going to take a lot more time of shipping because it ain't no Amazon Prime. But either way, your girl, as always, she got you covered because actually I will link once again down below in the pinned comment the link for these masks. And also, if you want to save even more money off your purchase than what you should use is actually the code RANDOMS at checkout for a discount on your whole entire order. So girl, honestly, it's the win-win. But anyways, sis, sister, ma'am, if you are still watching, have you considered of maybe joining the random family and subscribing to the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads because I mean let me tell you this channel is literally all about skincare we love skincare up in here so if you maybe are struggling with acne or maybe you're struggling with fine lines and wrinkles whatever you're struggling with I would love to help you out or also if you want to figure out and really get down to a T your
your skincare routine, this is the place for you. So we would love if you join the random family. Mwah! And also, if you want to see more behind the scene, more craziness of what is happening right here, or maybe connect on a deeper level, then maybe you what you should do is actually follow me on my Instagram right here because we keeps it real there as well. Don't hesitate to DM me if you maybe have any skincare issues that you want to talk one on one and help you out. I would love to help you out, sis. But anyways, to my randoms who are still watching, you know what time of the video it is now. It's time for the Italian word of the video. And since this video was all about these beautiful, iconic Medio masks, then the Italian word of the video is actually going to be, I know this is going to be boring and bland, I'm sorry, but I'm basic today. I'm feeling basic, okay? Mask it out, which is mask in English. Now, you could literally say mask it out for these kind of masks, but also the like carnival masks, Halloween masks, theater masks, I don't know what other masks you have serial killer masks, those too. <gasps> so if you maybe find yourself in Italy and there's maybe a serial killer going around with a mask on their face, what you should do is actually say, Dove è, which is where is, Il serial killer, which is serial killer, is literally exactly the same, con la maschera, with the mask. So if you ever found yourself in Italy in a dangerous situation, as you can see, I'll be there helping you there as well. Honestly, so much content and so much knowledge that you're gaining out of this. Skincare, how to save your life. Gosh, what more do you need and want? Nothing, that's what. But anyways, what you should do now, which I feel like I can tell you because we're already in that stage of the relationship where I can manipulate you into doing what I want you to do. And that is, I want you to watch one of these two videos right here because sis, let me tell you, you don't need to not watch the videos recommended by YouTube there. That is not what you could do. These two videos right here, they're a lot more informative, funny, entertaining, all you need in life. But oh, remember to be random and always be random. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Watch though, watch them two videos.